Welcome to tutorial 1 and welcome to Adobe Premiere Rush CC. We find ourselves a new welcome screen, which invites us to create a new project. So select create a new project. A new project is based on selecting the assets that we need. While selecting all the videos I'm already creating a rough edit. I'm also selecting the JPEG and the audio to finish up the story. Please do not forget to give your project a name. Adobe Premiere Rush is available on mobile, tablet and desktop computer. So by enabling the Sync with Creative Cloud option, you are able to continue your project on other devices. When all looks great, hit Create. This is the editing interface of Adobe Premiere Rush CC. The audio file gives us the idea of the length of the final edit. We've got way too much video content right now. With the scroll bar down below we can zoom in to the timeline. Just click and drag the right end of the scroll bar to the left to zoom in. This will give us a closer look to the first clip. I want to shorten the first clip a little bit. Select the clip and drag the right orange handle to the left, just a tiny bit. All clips on the right side will jump to the left as well on this magnetic timeline. On the second clip we will cut a bit from the beginning and the ending of this clip, with the same technique of dragging the orange handles. The third clip is way too long. Let's cut it short with use of the scissors. This will split the clip. So you can delete the part that you don't need with the bin button. Let's continue this process with the other clips and aim to tell the story within 30 seconds. There are several different workspaces in Adobe Mirror CC to work in. The thing that bothers me right now is the sound underneath some clips. I only want to hear the music. Select the clip with sound underneath and go to the audio workspace. In here you can mute the audio. I'll do that for the other clip too. You've now created your rough edit. And this is the end of tutorial number one. In the next one we will add titles, work with color and do some speed changes. And of course export out our final video. In the first tutorial we have created a rough edit in order to save the ocean from our plastic waste. If I want to rearrange my clips I can easily drag around the clips on my magnetic timeline. In between the shots of plastic and the beautiful ocean with the turtle and the jellyfish I would like to create a transition. Select the transition workspace button to reveal that interface. In here we will find a few basic transitions that you can use. I would like to use the dip to white transition to emphasize we are entering the dream of a plastic free ocean. Just select the transition and leave it in between the two shots. We can also adjust the length of the transition by extending it. I'll do that again over here. The shot with the jellyfish will become more beautiful if you would create a slow motion effect on it. Go to the speed workspace and then select the jellyfish clip. Slow down the clip to let's say 60% and cut off the extra bit to keep the edit a 30 second length. Now let's add some titles on here. We will start with a big title at the start of our video with the text What are we doing to our ocean? In order to do that we will need to open the title workspace. So let's open it. In here we find a variety of titles and lower thirds we can use. I'm searching for the one that looks best for my story. When you found the right title Drag it just above the clip on the timeline and let go. By double clicking on the text you will be able to alter the text. In the options on the right hand side of the interface we can make several adjustments. 
but what you can alter is up to the original design of the template. Based on my original idea for this edit, I will need to create multiple titles. Finally, I want to add a little bit more drama to the shots. It's also possible to alter the title. If you only want to have one line of text, just disable the color of the text and the color of the shape in the background. If you want to reposition the text, you'll need to go into the Crop and Rotate workspace in order to move it horizontally or vertically. Adding drama can be done by doing some color grading in the color workspace. There are some great presets available in here which you can add to your clips on your timeline. In this case I will select one shot and add a cinematic look. If this is not exactly what you want, then it's possible to edit the shot by jumping into the edit panel and play with things like exposure, shadow highlights etc. By now I think the video is done. Ready to leave your computer and find its way to YouTube, Facebook or somewhere else. You'll need to export, let's say share your video. So let's select share and give your file a name. In here you can select the folder to save it to, let's say your desktop. When you enable YouTube or one of the other options, you will be able to upload your video directly to that platform when you are signed in. With all settings correct, hit export and you will have your video ready to be shared. Thank you for taking this course and keep in mind that there's plenty more to learn on the Adobe Education Exchange.